This is the next lesson in creating a times table quiz using spreadsheets. In the previous lessons, we looked at how we can create a times table quiz, change the number here, and to put an answer in here that will tell us whether the answer is correct or not. What we're going to do now is just make our spreadsheet just look a little bit tidier. Okay, so we're going to just color it up a bit. So first of all, I'm going to make this bold, okay, and let's change the color of this. So we're going to make it a nice, um, let's make it red, and this is going to be our times table, which is, so let's make this um, a purple, okay. Now our times table here, we can change that. Let's make that a different color. Let's make that yellow, and these are our numbers here, and we're going to make them purple as well, because they correspond to the number at the top here. And what we can also do is merge these cells together so it ties in. Let's merge these three together as well. And let's make that another color. So let's have that as orange. And then we can. So we've got a nice colorful spreadsheet here. It's important to get the colors in because the children, they enjoy seeing something more visual and they enjoy changing colors and they get, then get to understand the whole concept of formatting. So now let's put our answers in. So what we want to do is we want to change these to the right color, depending on whether they're correct or wrong. So correct is going to be green, wrong is going to be red. So we need to use conditional formatting for that. So let's choose cell G3. We go up to format and we click conditional formatting. Equally, what we can do is right click and click on conditional formatting. This brings up this menu here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say, what does this apply to? So let's it apply to just that cell for now. So now let's choose from the options is equal to. So when that cell is equal to the word correct, we want it to turn green. Now by default, it's just turned to green. And then we can click done. We want to add another rule. When that cell is equal to the word wrong, we want to change that to red. Now we can change these colors if we wanted to, but I'm going to leave it as the default, and then click Done. They're the two rules that we can put in at the moment. So now let's copy these down. And as you can see, wrong has turned to red, and correct is green. Now we want to do the same for our column F. So let's create a rule within column F. Now this time, we need to do a little bit more work. So we want to apply it to F3, but this time we want to go down to the bottom and do a custom formula is. So we want to write a formula. So when the cell G3, this one here, G3 is equal to correct, and we have to add quotes to that, we want it to turn green. And let's do done. Let's add a new rule. When the cell so we go down to the bottom, the custom formula, when the cell equals G3 is equal to, quote, wrong, we want this to go to the red. And then we click done. And then what we can do is we can copy this down. Now what's happened is it's copied the four down as well. So we just need to change these to see if our conditional formatting works. And let's just delete these, and then we can see it's actually creating blank spaces as we want. So that's how we can change our spreadsheet to look nicer, and we can add conditional formatting that changes depending on what is entered into the cell. In the next lesson, we're going to look at how we can do some more advanced features of this. How can we take this concept and use it for algebra?